my crafty friends, and welcome to Heather and Jan Studio. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Thank you again so much for joining me today. As you can see, we're in the digital studio again today. And that's because I have to make some washi tape for an upcoming project, and I thought I'd bring you along to make some washi tape in Canva. But if you know how to make washi tape in Canva, then thanks for dropping by. Um, and you don't have to stay if you don't want to, obviously. But if you've never made washi tape in Canva before, or you're like, what the heck is Canva? And how can it make washi tape? Then stick around. All right, so full disclosure, we are not making real washi tape, okay? We're making faux washi tape by just making strips of patterns inside of Canva. Um, and if you're new to Canva, I highly recommend. It's one of my favorite programs and it's free to use. So you can go and get yourself a free Canva account and you can do what I'm doing. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some washi tape and we're gonna start, or I'm gonna start, you can start with whatever you want. I'm starting with an eight and a half by 11 sheet, sheet, project, I don't know. It's a background. It's eight and a half inches by 11 inches US letter size. I'm just gonna zoom out just a tad. Um, here on my page and I'm going to drop in my washi tape. I'm going to make half inch washi tape, which will translate to just under a half an inch when I'm done because of my borders uh, on my printer. So to get my, my washi tape um, on the page, I'm going to use frames. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to go to all or frames actually. So let me take this out of here. Um, mine comes up, but you may have to search for square frame. Uh, and then you want the one that has the handles like this, that we can resize any way we want. So I'm going to just make it as tall as the page. And then I'm going to bring it in until it's a half inch. And you can see that black box. It's telling me how wide it is. So I'm going to go to a half inch. 0.5 okay that's my width and I'll bring this over here to the edge and now I'm gonna it's hard to see because of what Canva's doing but there is a duplicate button here so I'm just gonna duplicate and that's gonna give me another one here which I'm gonna grab and put right next to that one and now when I hit duplicate again Canva is catching on so it's gonna put the next one in the next spot so now I can just kind of click duplicate across and Canva's doing oop all that align work for me. I'm going to do it one more time because I hit the delete button instead because I'm talking. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. So we're all the way across now. I'm just going to make that last one a little longer. No big deal, right? I'm going to use it all. And now I want to get some pretty background. So I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to do uh, spring watercolor backgrounds, but you can put in whatever you want. And if you have the free version, you want to go up here and just click free. So you only see the free stuff. So we'll just do that for this one and see what we get. And I want to go to graphics and this is what they're showing me. Uh, this one's kind of pretty. I'm going to drop that one in, but I want to double click it to open it up. If you're new to Canva, when you double click the image, it opens it up so that you can kind of maneuver it in your frame so you can see the parts that you want. Um, so I wanted a little more blue in there with it and green. So I'm going to do that. Now you see how it put that different area in there. Okay, that's good. All right, I am actually going to see both the free and the pro. So um, because I have a pro account and I want to get some really to see what what other offerings are here. I mean, they have a lot of really free, you know, good free stuff. So if all you have is a free account, that's fine. Just, you know, use what you have. No, and it's too, too big. Uh, oh, this purple one's pretty. Let's put that in there. Ooh, it even has some like streaks of gold or something. That's really nice. I like that. These flowers are cool. Let's see if we can get some of the smaller ones to come into frame, like that yellow one. That's kind of cool. And these blue ones down here, I like that. We have some roses. What's this one? Oh, tulips. That's nice. 
I like the tulips. Oh, it's got all sorts of flowers. Look at that. What do I want? I don't know. I think I like the tulips. What do you think? Or these blue um, irises are pretty too. Let's maybe we'll do that. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> I like it with the the tulips because you you can see some of this greenery too. Okay, good. Moving on. Um, let's see. Let me try. Let me try Easter. Get anything cute with Easter? Of course, these are all cute. Oh my goodness, look at those bunnies. Huh. All right. Um, let's try taking watercolor out. Oh, okay. That's nice. Oh, this one's fun. Look at this one. It's like jelly beans or Easter eggs. That is really cool. Okay. Good. Oh, these bunnies are cute too. All right. So let me see what's here with free. So you guys, if you got a free account, you can see that there's still a lot of options. Oh, oh, this one's pretty. Look at this one. Daffodils. We'll use that one. I like daffodils. Um, what else? What are these? It's hard to see sometimes until you drop them in. Those look like daffodils too. I don't need more. Oh, wrong one. I don't need more daffodils. Click on that one. Okay, good. All right, come on. Uh, more eggs. All right, let's just try spring. No watercolor this time. What else do we have? Do, do, do. Oh, this one's pretty. And you're, you're getting the process here. Basically, that's it. I'm just going to fill up the page. And then I'm going to um, download it as a PDF or as a PNG. And then I'll print it. I might print it on some sticker paper and then just cut it and it's ready to stick down. Or you can just print it on regular paper too. Um, and then just cut it out and glue it. So let's try flowers. I just want some bright springy colors. This one's cool. I like that extra blue. Looks very French. Okay. Um... Let's try purple. Maybe if I just put a color in, I'll get a variety of pretty backgrounds. This one's cool. Looks like a gingham. Yep. Uh, can we get that so we can see some of the gingham? There we go. Much better. All right. Now let's try another color. Yellow. Yellow. Oh, I like this one. That's pretty. Let's see, can we get a different section that's got more variation like that? That's nice. Uh, what else? Bananas, want some bananas? There's honeycomb. All right, let's try some pink. I'm going through the spring colors here, as you can see. Just seeing what's being offered what we might find. We got some pink gingham. Ooh, this is cool. This is like a lattice. That's kind of neat. I'll leave that. I like that. A llama. Uh, all right, what do we want? What else do we want? We want some green. Green. There's so much, there's so much. It just, it's like a, just, just a dream to work in Canva. I love this program so much in case you haven't figured that out. <laughs> if you've watched any of my videos on Canva, that's kind of cool. I'll leave that one. Oh, this one's marbled. Oh, maybe that would be good. Um, what are we gonna, what are we, what is that called? Um, Oh goodness, end papers, end papers. Bookend papers, aren't they called end papers? Maybe they're under photos. No, I guess not. That's not gonna work. Well, let's see what we have here. I'm in photos now, so let's do spring background. Oh, some of these are pretty. Oh, cherry blossoms, right? Those are cool. For spring. 
<gasps> Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. I love cherry blossoms. Don't you? Maybe you don't. Maybe you're allergic to cherry blossoms. I don't know. The commentary, right? <laughs> That's pretty. What are some other spring tiny flowers? Um, Johnny Jump Ups. What are they called? Violas? We call them Johnny Jump Ups. I want one with like a lot of little ones in it. Maybe this one. No. It looks... Oh. Why is it? I keep picking the wrong one. Kind of looks like a florist catalog or something. I don't like that. Um, oh, this one's pretty. It's got a lot of, uh, you can't really tell what it is, but it's got such pretty markings. You can do something like, like that. I don't want the water droplet. It's kind of cool. Can't really tell what it is, but that's all right. Um, okay, I'm going to go back up here. Gosh, I really thought that was what they were called. Yeah, I think they're all called end papers, but maybe they're just not. They don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know. Let's just put spring. Doo -doo -doo. Graphics. Hello, bunny. Yeah, so that's the video. <laughs> If you were looking for something more, it's not here. Um, I, like I said, I'm just going to finish this up and then I'm going to print this out and I am going to use it. Now you see here, I'm trying to add this and it won't let me add it. Some of these are, you just cannot use in frames. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure why. I think it has to do with the file type, but I don't know at what, you know, why. If you guys know, you can put it in the um, description box below. Oh, yeah, just do bunnies. Bunny background. Oh my goodness. I could do so much in here. Oh, this one. I think we saw this one before. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe I'll put it in this bigger one over here. And get one of those bunnies in there. Like that with some mushrooms. That's cute. All right, so I got to fill in one more. If you're still here with me, thanks. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited that you're still here. Oh, look at this bunny one. <gasps> look at the chicks. Let's try chicks. Oh my goodness. I love this program <laughs> so much. Chickens, I have chickens. I love my chickens. Oh, these eggs are different. These are spotted eggs. I'm going to use those. Okay, there we go. I am done. I have a bunch of washi now that I can use for my spring um, projects. And like I said, I can print it out and maybe put it on a full sheet of sticker paper. And then I can just cut it and it's already ready to go. And it's sticky already on the back. I like to do that sometimes. Um, but I can also just print out on regular paper and cut it out. Well, that's it, guys. That's a video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll use this in your projects. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And if you like videos like this or you're into paper craft or junk journals or journals in general, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and uh, you'll be notified when I release a new video in that genre. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day or night. I'll see you soon. Bye.